Yeah. Well, he's a good day favorite, bringing the laughs of Tommy T's tonight, people. Let's welcome comedian and actor. <gasps> Well, you know, ham and you, eggs, you, you, orange juice. You're such a busy guy. You got to nap whenever you can. Yeah, man, you got me on it. You didn't tell me that the baseball. I play baseball. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah. I play full contact chess, but that's different. That's like, I'm an athlete. I got the rappers on it. I rap. Uh -huh. I mean, it don't make no sense. But don't nobody make sense to rap no more. I'm about to rap. It's not gonna make no sense. All the rappers doing it now. Now it's my turn. Check me out. Milk, money, razor blades, car wash, <laughs> Halloween, nasal spray, grandmama, oatmeal. <laughs> <laughs> it started to turn into Billy Joel. We didn't yes. start the that's, fire that's there right. a little bit. <laughs> You'll be that's hearing right. from yeah, his rappers, yeah. athletes, everybody. Now you got Tony Roberts. Well, Tony, I'm so glad you're here because apparently you have become the king of network television. Yes, right? I'm on ABC yes. Tuesday night. Yeah, Uncle Buck. Uncle Buck. Uncle Buck. Uncle Buck. We're doing big Buck things. Opened up as what? The number one. The number one ratings. Debut on ABC History. That's for awesome. sitcom. So did you guys throw a party? Did we, you celebrate? I, well, my kids. They, I made, they made me take them out to the Chili's, but, you know, <laughs> I don't have any friends. I got kids. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's ABC. You could be in prison and watch ABC. <laughs> this is not FX. So t this is the big deal. I got another tax bracket. I'm at Marshall's now. Oh, there you go. No there more dollar go. store for me. No more dollar store for me. <laughs> I'm going over past the clearance rack. That is so exciting. The last time you were here, the last time you were here, we were mm -hmm. talking about this. I was like, why, did, why don't you have your own show? And you, know you gave this smile. You're like... I just got a show oh, I just pitched to, um, Kevin Hart just picked it up. Oh. It's called We Don't Do That. Uh -huh. There's all the stuff you really don't want to do, you don't, you're not into, we can encourage you to do it. Uh -huh. And so they picked it up, he's executive producer. Nice. My new one hour special, my third one, yes. Showtime just bought it. Uh -huh. It'll be out in a couple of months. It's wow. called Motor City Motor Mouth. I'm from Detroit, <laughs> I went home and did it. Uh -huh. And I got a lot of stuff coming out, man. Sweet. Yeah, I got a new uh, movie I just wrote and directed called Not So Fast, My Tooth Is Loose. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it's a Christian based series. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Tony Robbins is here. the worst title for a movie That's I've ever right. Go right. Champs! <laughs> <laughs> He's playing to his audience. That is amazing. Yes, man. I'm busy. It busy, is busy, happening. busy. Yeah. It is happening. I'm on the road constantly. I just did a show mm. in Seychelles Island off of Africa for a prince. What? From Abu Dhabi. Are you serious? Yeah. Okay. I had a weekend off on a Friday. It was spur of the moment. He called my agent on a Friday morning. My agent said, this guy wants you to go to Dubai. Uh -huh. I said, when? He said, tomorrow morning. For my, me and my wife, both tickets were 20 grand a piece. $20,000 first class, 27 hours to get there. Uh -huh. We got there three days. They told me it's a private event. You can't blog it. The prince is uh -huh. 30 people. The prince is, you know, Ling, 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 ling. You know, the whole thing. <laughs> like I'm in the Bible. Right? I did a show for them, 25 minutes. Took me out to I didn't meet them or nothing. Wow. Me and my wife, four days with servants. We had the, you know, the living room. Like we, our room was like this. <laughs> Your son works? I was coming to America. Was, <laughs> so, yeah, man. And we, it, it was crazy. That so now, I, yeah, I'm constantly going. Just came so, back from Cabo. Is that a weird? Is that weird pressure being? Yeah, in the stand -up I don't know. You know, I said, hey, is this thing on? It's one of those. <laughs> <laughs> they was like, they were looking at me like, I don't know what to say. So I just gave them me. Yeah. Like I'm giving you now. Well, they yeah. took the energy. And how did that work out for they, you? They was, they was laughing. They was, <laughs> okay. And the girl, the ladies wanted me to take my shirt off, and I, I didn't. Oh, do they it. thought it was a different kind of show. You know, like, I didn't have to. You know, I was the 293rd guy in the movie 300. You didn't know me. I was in the back. Because I ain't had no abs. So I had a blue jeans and a cigarette. I'm like, watch this! So when you don't have no abs, you can't get in the front. So I didn't take my shirt off because I'm not shaking. You're saying you're not going to be a magic mic for I'm not magic mic. Oh, magic marker. Oh, uh, Maybe magic I'm marker. Magic marker. We'll leave it on that. That was awesome. Uh, go see you with Tommy T. Tommy T. Two show. shows tonight. Okay, you're going to do Never Have I Ever with us? You're going to do it? You down? I'm going to do it. Okay. All right. I'm going to do it. We'll, we'll hang around. We'll play Never Have I Ever with Tony Roberts. That was good stuff. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Come to Tommy T. See this man before. Please, he doesn't have any, any time to do anything but work. Go see him. I'm sexy. He's a soldier.